Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 54. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of this boat. This Oceanus Yacht 54 is just getting ready to hand over to its new owner today. It's a brand new boat. White hull with teak decks look incredible. We put a stainless steel Lumar anchor into that uh, bowsprit from the factory, which is designed really well. There's a area for a tack line to go through, a pad eye, and a ring that we did custom here at South Coast Yachts. And then there's also a stainless bob stay that attaches to a ring so you can do a code zero and disperse the load from the tack down. There's a two to one halyard here. And at the top of the mast, you may be able to see in this video, there's a chafe sleeve about 15 feet so that when you do hoist a, hoist a code zero up there, just the, the halyard is protected as it goes through the shivs if you're sailing with the code zero or spinnaker for a long period of time. And then just after that is an electric furler, which is an option from the Beneteau factory. The white hull looks great with the gray striping. We did black bottom paint on this boat. Coming back, you can see the teak decks look incredible. We did some aftermarket cushions up on the bow here. So you got two lounge beds that are just forward of a self-tacking jib track. This boat currently has the Genoa on it. So there's Genoa sheets here with adjustable leads, but you can also do a self-tacking jib, change out the sail. This one's got an in-mass frilling main, two spreaders. You can see spreader lights, radar on a Cato mount going up the mast. Cool thing, uh, the tow rail of this boat is, is deep, so it's nice when you're walking forward, really comfortable. But I also like the little touches, like this stainless steel here, which protects the boat with your dock lines, prevents chafe on the gel coat. This little seahorse here is the Beneteau logo, but it's also marking where you would want to put the straps if you're going to haul this boat out of the water. Coming back to the transom. This boat has a big... Hydro, uh, actually, it's an electric swim platform that comes down, and when you press the button to bring it down, this staircase here unfolds, allowing easy access into the boat. There's also a dinghy garage, so we simply pull this stainless bar out over the swim platform, and then you can bring a dinghy straight into the boat with that purchase system. Really cool feature. Coming back. You can see just the lines of this boat. It's a beautiful hull shape. Beam coming all the way back, really wide transom. Easy boarding here. Check out this cockpit here. The new 54 design has a central cockpit design for moving around. So you have this path right down the middle with teak folding cockpit tables on either side. We did a Veneto logo inlaid into a varnish teak on this boat. These tables are also electric, so I can bring them down with these buttons at the helm here off the port side. But the layout here, moving through the center, the central design here allows you to walk around the helm station and up to the bow on either side of the boat which is a brilliant design when you're underway. Somebody can be handling the winches, sailing the boat, and your guests and crew can move around really easily and not disturb anybody who is uh, seated or steering the boat. Let's take a look at both helm stations. The starboard helm has the throttle control. So this is gonna be your primary helm station. It also has the bow and stern thruster. Stern thruster is an option from the factory electric windlass control. With the electric Genoa furler, you can just press these buttons here, Genoa in and out. And then on both helms, there's a large B&G multifunction display. You can see in the reflection of this video, some LED lighting, which is reflecting from the Bimini light above my head. Really cool addition we did here in San Diego. Um, and then down outboard on starboard, you have the two electric winch controls. So you've got your primary winch and secondary. So your Genoa sheet's gonna come to that primary winch, but then your main sheet, boom bang, the self-tacking jib sheet, if you rig a self-tacking jib, as well as your spinnaker halyard are here. There's a, cup, a dedicated cup holder at both helm stations. 
and then the Yanmar diesel control is here at the primary home station as well. On the port side, similar controls with the multi-function display, autopilot, lights, platform and table controls. Outboard we have the electric winch controls, all four winches are electric. And then you also have a cockpit shower here. Let's go take a look at the interior. This boat was specced with a beautiful light oak interior. And also the three cabin, two head layout. Scrolling across. We'll start in the galley here. One of the best features of this new design is this tall refrigerator. So this is really neat. You've got a refrigerator like at home with a freezer on top. And then you also have a storage space above, which you can put a microwave or coffee maker or anything you choose. There's a little cubby behind with power. So this is a good spot for like an espresso machine if you want to make a coffee and hide or have a dedicated coffee cabinet, that's it. You also have more storage here. A stainless sink. Large sink, trash bin here and then a three burner gimbal stove and oven. Really cool uh, wine fridge. And then another top loading freezer here. This has a dedicated nav station, which is great. You can sit forward facing on the port side, but you can also use this large seating area as a lounge to complement the U-shaped salon table. There's a lift right here for a TV. You can also put a TV on the bulkhead, which we did aftermarket. The nice thing about that is all of your breaker panels are back here, so you can still access all of this equipment, like the ship control, um, if you're using the TV on the forward bulkhead. It's easy to get into here. Ship control is a really nice system that you can control inside the boat or at the multi-function displays at the helm. And then hidden really nicely are your DC breakers as well. So that's, a, I think, a really elegant way to design the boat where all the important components are easily accessible but also out of sight. Let's go take a look at the forward master cabin, which is amazing in this boat. Big centerline bed. You've got seats on either side. Nice indirect lighting. There are outlets and USB plugs, so you have DC and AC outlets up here, so you always have power. Touchscreen lighting and air conditioning controls. The hanging lockers on both sides have LED lights that come on automatically, which is super nice. And then, um, so you got a hanging locker on that side. You also have this large cabinet here, which kind of works as like an armoire. So lots more storage, a mirror, and then just a bunch of drawers here. Just off clothes, lock them in place. This is the head in the master cabin. Your shower is separate. So on the starboard side, we have this really elegant head. You have a mirror, some storage, a power outlet, and then this electric toilet, which can use fresh or salt water. So on this switch here, you can see it says fill bowl, flush bowl, fresh water, salt water. We did that after market to allow you to see um, a little more clear the icons. If right now we have it permanently set to fresh water, so that the only fresh water is going through the heads, but you can rock that switch and choose however you'd like to use it. Opposing on the port side is your shower stall, completely dedicated shower, which is pretty nice seeing here. You got uh, lights and the shower sump buttons and then a teak plate behind the actual shower itself. One thing I really like about all the doors in here are these magnetic handles. So when you close the door, a magnet is going to close this latch. So you've got nothing to brush against or scratch yourself or snag on as you're, if you have open doors. 
And let's go see the aft cabins now. Nice mattresses, lots of storage, a ton of headroom in here too. A couple opening hatches and charging for the guests in here. Same on the other side, we got storage cabinets. This is pretty cool, so the uh, big port lights can be closed with these sliding covers. And then independent air conditioning controls and nice hanging lockers as well. The aft cabin here has direct access into the second head, which has the same pressure salt water toilet. Nice sink and a separate shower stall here, which is really nice. There's another door going into the salon, so you can use this as a day head. I just want to point out these leather straps here to prevent the door from opening too far. It's a really nice touch. And the last thing we'll take a look at is the engine room. This one has the Yanmar 110 horsepower turbo diesel. And this one is shaft driven. On the wall there are the electronic throttle controls with easy access to everything in the engine room. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the Oceanus Yacht 54. Feel free to reach out right away if you have any questions about this boat. I look forward to talking to you soon.